This is 18-month-old Matthew Weeman. He's been battling a life-threatening illness since he was born. At five months old, his kidneys failed. Matthew was rushed to the emergency room, but no one knew what would happen next. At one point, we weren't sure if we were going to make it through the night. Um, we didn't know what to expect. The doctors, the nurses, they were scrambling. And they told us, not only are you not going, you're not going home, but you can't stay here. And we said, why not? And this was too serious for them to handle. We needed a specialist. So they transported him to UCSF by ambulance that night. He came to us um, after his kidneys had already progressed to the point where they weren't able to clean the blood of his body, and that's where we stepped in as nephrologists, and we began a treatment called dialysis. In his case, we do hemodialysis, in which the blood is taken out of his body through a catheter, run through a machine, and then returned to his body. And this actually re presents pretty large challenges for a patient his size. He does hemodialysis, six days a week for at least four hours for every treatment. So it's actually a huge amount of time. If you think about uh, six days a week, four hours, it takes about a half an hour to hook up, a half an hour to detach. It's at least five hours, six days a week. So it's about a third of his waking life. Matthew's treatment doesn't end when he leaves the hospital. Every afternoon, Christy has to give him more medications, get him playtime with his brother and sister. And one of his favorite things is playing with water and just getting a bath. By 8 p.m. he's in the bed that they share asleep, but Christy's day is not over. She then has to clean the syringes from that day's medication, prepare medication for the next day, among many other things. When Matthew's finally asleep, she prepares herself to give him his evening dialysis. It's a long and exhausting process. By his midnight feeding, Christy is finally able to go to bed herself. It's a very short rest because by 3.45 a.m. the alarm goes off. Christy is then giving Matthew again his morning medications and getting ready to start the process all over again. Matthew's condition is rare, and there's only one cure. Matthew has a condition called primary hyperoxaluria, and in that condition, he has a defect in one of the genes of his body, and the consequence of that defect is that he has too much of a chemical called oxalate. And that chemical accumulates in his liver, in his kidneys, in his bones, in his heart, in his brain, in his eyes, and specifically it causes problems with the kidneys is one of the first signs. So in his case, the only true fix for it is to have a transplant. And in his situation, his kidneys aren't working, so he requires a kidney transplant. But in addition, in order to fix the problem of not having the correct gene to process this chemical, he also needs a liver transplant. Matthew is very fortunate to have a loving and supportive family, but love and support is not enough for him. In order to survive, Matthew needs a transplant. Even though Matthew's transplant relieved the need for daily dialysis, and it lessened the life-threatening complications he faced with primary hypoxaluria, he still faces new battles, new obstacles. And that's why funding OHF's research is so critical for primary hypoxaluria patients. 
Each dollar raised will provide OHF the tools it needs to help my family and families like mine around the world to have a better tomorrow. Until there is a cure, the fight is not over.